Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package, a package to open. This one's from Cole over at Tri-State EDC. Uh, I believe these are some uh, winter blade knives. I don't know if they're like prototypes or what they are. Um, I think Cole mentioned it to me, and then this just showed up. I haven't heard from... Brian over at Winter Blade, but we'll see. Pretty sure that's what this is. We have, yep, we have some cards here. Or paperwork. Wow, there's a lot of paperwork. Well, that explains the not hearing from Brian thing. He has a whole sheet here. Um, so I guess Tri State Lefty. Oh, I'm number two on the list. I see how it is. Number two, wow, thinks so little of me. Um, so dropping October 23rd, oh yeah, he sent it to the wrong guy first. I bet you he sent this like three months ago. Um, I don't wanna read through here, it's a lot of work, man. Uh, new models, Veyron, if you guys don't remember, Back in the day, uh, I was working with Brian on uh, a model. We were going to collab together on one. And he called it the Veyron. It was like a magnetic backlock. That was the idea I had. And he ended up making one that kind of had like a... It was like a backlock, but also like a Demco shark lock, sort of. Uh, and a crossbar lock. I can't remember. It had a lot going on. Um, but I didn't love the overall design so um he ended up tweaking it and i don't know if that's even the same model we're gonna find out uh, i still want him to do a magnetic slip joint that's uh the one that i've been bugging him on working with me on is a magnetic slip joint october 23rd so this came and went we have an m fire um and then we have the veyron and that's it. So we'll, uh, as we open them, we can uh, talk about them. So let's see what we got. This one is the 93B. <laughs> uh, we got some updated packaging. This is the Veyron in 20 CV. Handle is G10. This is batch number one, certified by Brian. Some stickers and stuff. Um... I'm not sure if these are best tech OEM. I think he was also working with Kun Wu. Nice pouch. Or Kun Wu, however you want to say it. Um, so this is the Veyron. This is uh, similar. The design looks like the one I was talking about. Um, you can actually, uh, you could probably search Winter Blade or um, Winter Blade prototype. You could probably find that video. He sent me like a handmade prototype of it which is pretty cool or i guess cnc made nice clip it's got some weight to it a little hefty boy um probably because it's g10 and steel liners i'm assuming this is going to be an affordable model here so is this a crossbar lock is there a magnet in here it feels like a yeah it's pretty uh pretty normal feeling detent that's the one thing i love about brian's designs a lot of them do have the um, real sort of detent systems, um, or I should say real feeling. But this does seem to just be, I don't think it's magnetic. There's definitely no magnets down there I can see, unless they're underneath something. So then here you have, yep, this is what I was talking about. It's kind of like a Demco lock. But I think the one that I talked, I was talking about also had a little back lock thingy down here. It didn't have, I don't think it had like a crossbar style lock. Um, very cool. So he had that model last year. I can't remember the name of it, but it had a crossbar style lock uh, on it. And he did a pre-order. Um, but this is the same basic shape and design of that knife I was telling you about that we were working on it. Um, he did he did the whole design. I just said, I want to see a magnetic back lock. And we were, he just said, I'll, you know, come up with the concept for the lock, and then we can go from there. And that's how he came up with this design. So I had nothing to do with the design. I'm not trying to claim that whatsoever. Um, 
What I didn't love about it, which I still don't, um, is the blade to handle ratio. It's just, if you look at it, you can see there's a very small blade to the big handle. And that is a just a mental thing for me that I don't do well with. Um, but it does feel really good. It's got a great reverse flick. Man, that is, that is nice, I gotta say. Um, so you can just actuate it like any other crossbar lock. Um, pull down on the tab. You could do one side or you can pull on both, right? But you also have the option to use this tab up here um, and flick that down, which is pretty cool. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful because the crossbar tabs move at the same time. So you obviously, if you have your fingers here, it's a little harder you got to kind of slide them with it. Um, you can also use it to deploy, I guess. Yep. Oops, there we go. Very cool. So I'm guessing this is a more affordable option that he has. Um, is there a price point on here? This is not the M Fire. This is the Veyron. So uh, Winter Blade, he's calling it the J-Lock. Patent pending Stealth Lock. Uh, it's a variant of the Stealth Lock. The J-Lock runs on an ultra smooth extension spring and can be actuated like a lock bar or via the unique button tucked in behind the blade. Um, doesn't look like it actually has a magnetic detent, which is pretty cool. Um, this says Vanex Blade Steel with stonewash or gloss black DLC finish options. Now... If this is uh, Best Tech, I don't know if that is actually DLC. It does not look like it. It looks like a uh, PVD, um, but Best Tech has been calling their PVD DLC for a while now. Um, and recently, I think they got caught uh, or they got called out on it and now they're listing it correctly. But I don't know if this project was already done. I think these have been done for a while. Um, but it also says 20 CV there, so it's a little confusing. It says features 20 CV blade steel, 61 or 63. Then it says Vanex blade steel with stonewasher gloss black DLC finish options. So I guess you could get either or. Um, this one's 20 CV. I can see it right there. And I think it was on the box too. Um... Yeah, so that's the Veyron. I got to handle this, I think, at uh, Blade Show. Yeah, if you have the clip to grab, it does make it easier to use that uh, lock tab back here. Left-handed without the clip over there, but it is reversible, so it's a non-issue. Um, it's a little bit harder because you're, you're trying to use the frame for grip, and then you, you end up kind of wanting to use this, but then this gets in the way, so... Really good reverse flick, man. Good thumb flick, too. Yeah, very cool. I think you guys will like it. Um, I just don't love the blade to handle ratio. That's kind of it for me. Um, you know, very futuristic, of course. And that's a very winter blade thing. So that's the Veyron. Let's check out the next one. This is the M Fire. Ah, oh, very sleek. Is this the automatic one, I think? I think it is. This one's really cool, if I remember correctly. I think this might have been my favorite one at Blade Show. I think you can... Um, I could be misremembering the one. Ah, yeah, there it is. It's just so cool. Um, it's an auto. You got to give it a little... Um, you can, obviously... It's not an auto in the sense that there's a spring in there, I don't think. It's a magnet that pushes it out, as I understand it. Now, you can't just disengage it and have the blade come down because, again, it has that opposing magnet in there. You can see some shit going on in there, and that is putting pressure against it, right? So, now this looks like real DLC. Um, that's the difference. So, it's, uh, it's actually pretty obvious if you look at it. So, with a DLC coating... You're going to get a, maybe this is Vanex, and maybe he just, maybe that sheet was just wrong or something. 
Um, look at that magnet right in there. That's freaking cool. Um, but with a DLC, the coating is a lot sort of thinner, so to speak. It doesn't actually like fully coat the blade. Like PBD basically paints the blade, right? Where a DLC kind of just puts a layer on top and you can still see the, the subsurface finish. So that's why you can get really cool stuff with DLC, like a DLC belt satin, where they do a belt satin, then they DLC over it, or they could stonewash it and then DLC. They can do a polish and then DLC. And you can see that finish underneath. In this case, it looks like they did a machine satin finish, right? You get that sort of um, random patterned uh, vertical satin, and then they did a DLC over top. So this is true DLC on this model. Um, this one, it by all regards, is uh, PVD. So I just want to make that clear. Um, I'm like 95% sure I'm right on that. Um, yeah, see, this one says Van X Blade Steel with Stonewasher Gloss Black DLC Finish Options. So I think maybe they copied the sheet and they accidentally left this line in, is my guess. Um, so that tells me... I could be wrong. Um, this is probably, is this a Kunwu build maybe? Because they can definitely do a good DLC. I don't know, anyway, I'm not worried about that too much even though I seem like I am. Um, what the hell is that thing? I'm not pushing on it. it doesn't move. Is it like a lock? just a thing that's there is it just a design feature it's so weird look there's nothing on the inside maybe up here there is is that where that magnet was yeah i don't know that's where it sits when it closes so maybe that's what uh there's a magnet inside of there i guess and that's what creates the the uh action so to deploy it you got to let go at the right time. If you hold this down, it obviously doesn't uh, uh, lock it up. So you want to pull down and then let go as it's coming up so that it can lock up. Right? Or I guess you got to make sure you let go at the right spot so it can stay locked up. Lock up feels solid. And you can one hand close it. You just got to swing it. Right? This is awesome. Great reverse flick. Yeah, lefty or righty. Now, it would be cool to get an actual left-handed version of the knife because the show side is um, obviously, you know, one-sided. This doesn't look as cool as this. Um, can you reverse the clip? Looks like it. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to throw the clip on this side. I'm not going to just because I don't want to, you know, there might be a mark or something. This looks like um, titan uh, aluminum, maybe? White aluminum. It looks coated as in painted, sort of. Doesn't look, I mean, obviously it's white. But I don't know what the coating is exactly. But there's the steel, Van X. Man, that is sick. Yeah, this is fantastic. This might be my favorite um, winter blade knife so far. Um, it feels really good in the hand. You get a really good grip. Like this is just more my style versus this, um, just design wise. Now I love uh, I love Brian. He's so innovative. His designs are unique. I don't love all of them just aesthetically. They're very futuristic. That's obviously going to be a personal preference thing. But some of them, like the factor, really works for me. This really works for me. And um, it's a little hypocritical because it has the same blade to handle ratio issue, honestly. If you look at it, you can see um, there's a lot of space after the end of that blade. The tip ends like here. And you got a lot of handle left. And then you have a lot of handle over here. So what that equals is a short blade for a larger handle. It just looks more pronounced here, even though the ratios could be very similar, but it just works on this model. I don't know why. Um, it is comfortable in my hand. 
it's got some squareness to it. Um, it's not contoured or anything, but it feels good in the hand. I, I do actually really like that. Um, I might try to get one of these. Um, the only thing that would make it cooler is if it had like an auto close too. Like if you could pull this down and then it did the same thing, but backwards and like shot it down into the handle. Um, but you can obviously learn the flick. It's a little harder left-handed. Um, you can see right-handed, I can do it. Am I just flicking it harder, I think? Yep. Just give it a good... Oh, oh you got to let go, too, at the right time. Oh, that's kind of fun. I'm sure I would get that down over time. Um, but yeah, I might uh, I might hit Brian up and see if I can get one of these in a, some color. I don't know if they're available. Maybe they're sold out already. I might have missed the boat. I didn't even know they were dropping. But this is fantastic, guys. I'm going to highly recommend the M Fire here. Um, I think the Veyron's cool. If this is your style, if you're a crossbar lock guy, now you can see the difference there, right? This is going to just drop. It's not going to have that issue where it, it doesn't come in, right? It doesn't just, it doesn't stop there because of a magnetic situation. I don't think there's any magnets in here other than maybe for the lock somewhere, but I don't even know if that has one. But they did a good job getting a, a, a good detent feel in here. He's got the right kind of hook in the blade, I guess. Um, that's kind of what's creating the detent, I think, is the, the spring. And then along with how the J is cut into the blade. And it's got good acoustics. So if this floats your boat aesthetically, definitely a solid knife. This is just magnificent, though. Um... The fact that I can uh, swing it, I can give it that magnetic reverse flick. Feels very strong, very nice. Um, but you also have the option to do that, like an auto. is just super cool to me. And then DLC on top of it, yeah. Yes, please. And Vanex. That's just really cool. I'm going to check the website. Um, actually, let's check it out real quick, and then I'll get you guys out of here. Um, Winter Blade Co. So here's the website, Magnet Driven Tools, Pens, EDC. He's got pens? I don't know that. So he's got pre-orders on the Factor 8. I guess that's a larger factor. Is that what it is? It looks stretched out a little bit, which is cool. I actually would really dig that. Um... 425 damn how much are these 380 so they have a pre-order for the m fire so i thought it said there was a drop maybe they dropped the first batch or something um there's the factor eight again did he do any lefties this would be sick if he did lefties so this is carbon fiber black dlc vanix blue titanium this is white titanium. So it is titanium. It's just coated white. Interesting. Yeah, black titanium with carbon fiber. That would probably look sick because it's all black. Natural looks good too. Um, but it's got stone wash. This one's DLC, black DLC Vanex. Black DLC Vanex. Black DLC Vanex. Okay. These are all the factor eights. Wait, is that lefty? Oh, no. It's just upside down. Black titanium curve. Oh, so they do have a black one with uh, DLC. Oh, these were the... Here, sold out, sold out, sold out. Okay, got it. So they did um, do a drop. And then there's the Veyron. Looks like they did a drop on those too. Interesting. Is that a titanium version? Okay. He did do a tie version. There's a lot going on there, guys. So check out Winter Blade Co., um, I'll put a link down below, but uh, thank you to Brian for letting me check these out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass these on to the next person. Um, it's just been a little crazy with the new baby here, so I'm kind of just doing these unboxings, talking about shit, and then uh, sending stuff on so I don't 
bog it down for people. Um, so I get this off to the next person who is, was it Roll? Yeah, Roll Shambo. I'll uh, roll this on over to uh, Roll Shambo. So yeah, let me know what you guys think on these. Are you as hot to trot on on the M Fire as I am? I think I'm in love. Um, it's just a cool, just a cool uh, concept. And you guys know me, I love a good reverse flick and this is just snappy as all get out. It would be sick though if he did some lefty runs. Um, I know he works with Best Tech on some of this stuff, so you would think that um, he could do lefties because they will do small batch lefty runs. So I'll put a bug in his ear, but if he hasn't done it yet, he probably won't. Um, it is a reversible clip, but it's just very different left-handed. Um, I haven't reversed the clip, obviously, but you're looking at this this thing and everything instead of this beautiful side, you know, but ergonomically works just as well. So it's not a game changer or deal breaker, I guess I should say. So M fire, Veyron, winter blade. There you go. Love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.